the end date is before start date okay so this is the end date this is the latest one the current one and this is 23 then obviously end date is shorter than start date the next question is how to check if two dates are equal so that can also be add 5 that is 5 may okay so as soon as i click on okay you see a message date difference is 11 days due date should not be exceed 7 days from now so so the logic here is if someone selected a due date which is more than 7 days then it should not allow them to do it okay so that's what we have configured so for that we have created a script let me show you right away this is the due date validation. It is on incident form and on change of due date. In the variable date one, we have this date that is due date, which is from the form. That's what we are entering. Okay. And in the variable date two, this is the current date. So this date is uh, basically a JavaScript function. Okay. And then we have this time diff variable where we are storing the difference between these two particular dates. Okay. Let me display the value of this as well. Okay, so let's uh, put alert. Okay, and then we are using this math function. The difference between these two dates will be in milliseconds. So, in the next step, using this uh, till function, we are converting this millisecond into days. And then, once we have millisecond into days, we are just comparing the days. Okay, and providing the alert. And then clearing the form and returning false so that the form will not get submitted. I think it should work uh, without returning false as well. Let's see. Let me save this. Okay, so let's go to the incident form. Give some value greater than 7. Let's say 7. Okay. So, yes, this one is good. This is the millisecond value. Click on OK. Yes, we are getting the message. Date difference is 13 days. Okay, so we are getting the days value here. This 13 we got from the math function. And then due date should not exceed 7 days. So I think it is working. Let's go to our next question. How do I get the current date time using the client script? Okay, this is, uh, you think it is a very simple question. Yes, it is simple. But when I checked on community, I see this. How to get the current date time? So you see here, this is the accepted solution, and look at the script. So it is a huge script, right? It has used like both uh, client script as well as script include Ajax, everything. But we can just 
get the value directly okay so like this just copy it okay save it so let's reload this form once again let's make a change so you see here this is the current date and time along with the time zone right so so you can use this simple script to retrieve the current date at client side so in this also somebody has suggested uh, uh, the same but i was surprised when i saw uh, this one okay okay so let's move to our last question that is need to run a query between specific date range okay so when you want to run a query between a particular date range in that case you can use uh, this filter in the list view and you can copy the query you need not to be worry about this big chunk how you generate this it is already generated using list view okay so let me show you just copy this paste it and just run it so you see the complete list is here so how to copy the query it's very easy just go to the incident uh, list view uh, let's say Dated between today and last week. Run. No data. So it's okay the data is not coming, but you can see the query here. You can just right click and click on copy query. Okay. And you can easily paste that query here. Okay. In the query section. This way you can create your own query. Okay. So friends, this is it for today. I will come up with more such date queries, and I think it will help you when you are looking for exact solutions. Okay. I will create a community article, and in that, in that, I will provide solution to all the date queries. Not only these five, I am searching other queries as well and uh, getting the solutions. Okay. Subscribe to the channel and keep watching, keep learning. Bye-bye.